Round two is here. We live. E3. I got a legend with me. Yo. I got a legend with me. Yo, I have a there's two legends standing here. Yo, yo, check this out. We're gonna make a cameo appearance. Come here, iPod. Come here, iPod. We got iPod King Carter. Oh, oh this is what it is. What's All right, up? you gotta hold the belt though. Uh, you know what? You gotta hold here? the belt, bro. That's a new I'll belt. It, but I'm not gonna put it over my shoulder and I'll tell you why. Why? I don't feel we've won the title yet. Ooh, I love we're that. We're our way up the ladder and we're hungry and we want to win the championship. We ain't there yet. Now, let me ask you a question. There's been a lot of talk, not just about NFL 2K, but Joe Montana coming to the field and doing some things. What are your thoughts about a newcomer coming in, trying to take your spot? You know what I'm saying? What's up with that? Well, I agree with you. There's been a lot of talk. And let's be serious. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> no, for real. There's been a lot of talk. I got nothing but respect for Damon and the job he's trying to do. And anyone out there who's trying to make a football game, trust me, I know firsthand how hard it is. So my heart goes out to you. And I want to tell you that we're behind you. We can't wait to compete with you. Make a great game. We'll make a great game so we can battle and give gamers a choice. Yo, I love it, man. I love your energy. Now, from a gameplay standpoint, damn. From what I saw already, it looks like the AI is much more on point. Whether it's blocking assignments. I even love in the trailer how you had different ways you could catch the ball. Like, how did you pull all this stuff together in just one year? Like, that was an amazing focus. I'll tell you, we, we just busted our ass. Uh, this year, we dug our heels in, and we worked hard. We put in a lot of crunch, and we went big. We felt like we needed to go big. We can't rest on our laurels just because we had a good year last year. If we're going to get mad and to be that 90-rated experience that everybody wants, we have to keep pushing and keep fighting every single year to do as big a job as possible. So that's why you see so many changes across the field this year. Now, as a fan and also someone that works on a game, what do you feel is your biggest proud moment that you see represented in Madden 16 this year? Well, I could talk to you about a feature, about multiplayer catch interactions, about gang tackling, about all the stuff we've added. But the thing that gets me the most jazzed is watching these people play and get excited and watching people jump up out of their chair. As a developer, there's nothing better than seeing people truly love and engage with the game that you built. That's the greatest reward of all. Wow. Now, one thing about uh, Madden, and I always felt was missing in, in Madden games, was the story element. And I'll give you an example. You know, to win a Super Bowl, that shit is hard. And when you get, when you like learn someone's story, it brings it on home. I feel Madden is the perfect representation of NFL to get that story out there. Have you guys ever thought about creating a mode that will allow you to walk with like the current reigning champion? So for example, even though I don't like the Patriots, I got to give respect to Tom Brady. It would be amazing if like we was able to actually see and play out his individual story in a Madden game. Do you think that that could be in the future of Madden period? Well, I think our focus is on authentic football simulation. So if you want to play authentic sports simulations, come to EA Sports. If you want to play the story of frequency vibrations, go somewhere else. I love Rex is the man. Rex is the man. I got a couple more questions. I'm going to let you go. Um, the, the, the passing, how you call it? It was a passing cinematic that you guys have added to the game. So when you throw the ball, it's like it's zooming in. Talk about that. And will we see that in more areas? of the game because I think that changes the game. It brings more excitement to it. So Brian uh, Burry, our presentation director from NFL Films, is really just pushing the envelope in terms of cameras and what we're doing. So if you play in Zoom camera this year and you pass the ball, you'll see the camera gets closer and actually follows the ball in to so get a much more cinematic version of the catch. And now that we have multiplayer catch interactions, you get these really amazing uh, you know, interactions where the DB and the wide receiver are fighting for the ball in the air and the passing camera really helps pay that off it's amazing now player stats now I played a lot of Madden games and some better than others obviously but sometimes I feel like the stats don't like actually match the player abilities at times for example you all we already know beast mode is beast mode you know what I'm saying Marshawn Lynch is that dude but sometimes I feel like 
a, a second string running back is doing the same things that he's doing and I'm like no this is like you don't say it don't feel right it feels unbalanced like how do you guys focus to make stars stars in the game and make people that's not the stars kind of fall back like how do you get that real representation well for years it's been all about the ratings but over the past uh, four or five years we've really been going big on traits and so one of the ways that you see that show up this year like if you throw a long bomb to a slot receiver who's normally used to going over the middle and doing possession catches he's not going to go up and sky the ball like like Calvin Johnson or Des Bryant so you have to know strategy you have to know who your slot receivers are who your possession trait guys are and who your high point traits guys are and choose the right routes and the right passes for those receivers another big thing this year is we've added a lot of penalties we've added face masks holding defensive pass interference offensive pass interference the list goes on and on and on those penalties are driven by what we call a trait and one of those traits is what we call a high motor trait so guys like Cortland Finnegan and Willie Cologne guys Brandon Browner guys who are known for committing penalties in real life are going to be most likely to cause penalties in Madden I love you dog. yo I love you Rex this is crazy you hear this this is crazy oh my god last all right last question and this is a question come from my boy Critical Eye that's holding the camera shout out to Critical Eye look man EA Sports big has been big in our hearts we love the NFL street the NBA street we love all of that back in the day I want to ask you will we ever see NFL street like come back even if it's a special little mode in Madden like if it's not a standalone game but will we ever see like NFL street or that energy come back to EA man what's up man please what are your thoughts on that man you know, personally my opinion is until Madden gets to where I want it to be I'm not thinking about anything else and I think the fans as much as you might like a blitz or an NFL street or something like that I think if given the choice, they would say invest in Madden, make it the best football game you possibly can. Once we're there, we could talk about making side projects, but right now, all our focus is on making this game great. The other thing I want to mention there, because you use the word big, and I like that word. You know, we both spend time in the weight room. We know what getting big's all about. So recently, there was a Bloomberg interview with Strauss Zelnick. And Strauss Zelnick said he questioned whether Madden could aspire to be as big as NBA 2K. And my comment to Strauss is, you know, talk about being big. Do you even lift, bro? Oh, shots fired. Wait, on the count of three, we got to say shots fired together. One, two, three, shots, shots fired. fired. It's over. Peace.